of round two between Teeks and iBooba on the point system tournament. We're gonna go ahead and turn up the volume right there so you guys get it. Okay, this is the SMB3 Warpless point system tournament. We have Teeks on the left, iBooba on the right. They're gonna be grinding for points. Time is not the deciding factor unless you are, are in a tie with points after both games, which last night we actually did hit that with Stewie and Calico. It was actually our first tie in points, which is incredible. You think that would never happen, but it actually did happen. So, the here and the now, the first thing that they're trying to do is get points from the MFP tunnel in World 1. So if they can nail that tunnel first try without taking any damage, they are awarded a point. Neither of them probably plan to use an inventory star, so by default, and neither of them have died yet. So they always start with a fresh 1.5 points. Right on. I hope you guys are all having a good night. I hope you're ready to have some fun, and I hope you're ready to watch some awesome speedrunning. Ooh, Teek's doing a bump on the overworld map. You can't cut it in the big leagues since you're bumping around like that. How are you going to move all over the place? However, he just showed me up by doing the orb jump in the first fortress, which is actually really difficult. Really, really difficult. For anyone who doesn't know, if you get a fanfare with three of the same cards, you get minus 0.5. If you die, minus 0.5. If you get over an hour, you get 0.5. If you get a coin ship, that is 0.5. All right. Teeks is gonna go for the tunnel first, man. My finger's there. My finger's there. Who's gonna get it? All right, here he goes. He's about to take the jump. He did the duck. Oh, he nails it! And I, Booba, does not nail it. Teeks gets that tunnel. He is very happy right now. He's saying to himself, uh, oh, stress is gone. We nailed the tunnel. Fantastic. Can we get MFP tunnel in chat, everyone? That is incredible. All right, getting that movement to two. He's not going to like that too much because it's going to change the pattern where iBooba gets the better alternative. Where he's going to get a more cooperative uh, boss pattern for here, which would be pretty good. So iBooba nails the tunnel, man. That's pretty good. Uh, or sorry, Teeks did. iBooba was trying, but he just, just missed it. All right, Teeks down the PCP. So Teeks is behind in time, but not really because he had already done the uh, Hammer Brother where Teeks or Ibuba is going to be doing it now. But Ibuba is going to be able to get the Fire Flower from this uh, position right here, save a little bit of time, whereas Teeks is going to have to grab it on the airship. So right on, man. Uh, ab absolutely fantastic World 1 so far. Are you guys having fun? Yeah, that's right. You better be having fun. Really, really boring auto scroller right now, but not so boring because these guys are gonna jump around, they're gonna be shooting, they're gonna be moving. It's gonna be a good time. Alright, so Teeks has definitely done a race. This is iBooba's first race. Unfortunately, iBooba has uh he had to advance to round two in the brackets without any points to his name, so he's got no stats. And uh, that is because his opponent was having uh, very bad internet um, and PC issues. He was unable to race. He had to forfeit. So this is iBooba's first race, whereas Teeks has already done a race before. So he is very... He knows what's going on, man. He's super involved. However, for the past few nights, I have been noticing that iBooba has been practicing. And as you saw last night from Calco's side... Um, he got flubbed up a lot from the lack of practice. He said he'd never been in a situation like that before, which I totally understand, but the more you practice for these points, the more, uh, situations you can get yourself out of. Um, didn't matter though, he still won, so that's incredible. Alright, so World 2. What are the points we looking for in World 2? We are looking for a 292 pipe transition in 2-2, two -two. so let's, let's only worry about that next. 2-2. Two -two, with a 292 in the pipe. And we're going to see Teeks hitting that up first. Now we've seen all... Ooh, the bumping on the world map, man. I'm telling you. You can't get places if you're sitting there. All right. Dude, everyone is making work of 2-1, man. 2-1 is like... It's easy, but it's not. You know? Like, like every level, it still has its demanding jump. So... Oh, no. Teeks with the two cards. If, oh, iBooba with the two cards, dude. A fanfare would negate his tunnel, and you'd hate to see that. All right, 292. Let's go. All right, he's got 298, 297, 296, 295. No, he started running. 294, 293. No, he just missed it. iBooba with the 293. Oh, that was so close from both of them. 
Holy crap, dude. That was so close from both of them. And neither of them got the fanfare. Oh my god. I'd have to I have to say that Ibuba was closer. Ibuba was definitely closer to that point. Also, Ibuba has better RNG here uh, in World 2 coming up. And he got a faster P speed. Holy crap, he is catching up. Holy crap, this is incredible right now. Let's go, let's go. Alright, he's gonna do their gonna do their wait. Dude, don't get upside down spiked here. Dude, you can hit the spikes as it's moving up, and that is the worst thing. Alright, guys, these new bracket races, we are incredible races right now. Woo! So Teeks has a lead of 0.5 right now. But he has much worse RNG. Okay, what are the strats here? He's not going for the music box. I booba. Me personally, you know what? Who cares what I think? Because every time I think something in these races, the runners show me up. They show me up. I I would have lost the, my first race probably. All right, nobody wants to take damage here. Gonna take it nice and slow. Except I booba's like, no way. I'm doing fast strats. Hopefully later on they don't come back and bite him in the butt. You definitely don't want that to happen. You definitely don't want that to happen. Alright, so what's the Hammer Brothers situation like here for Teeks? Oh, really good for Ibuba. Watch how the watch how much the Hammer Brothers are gonna make a difference here, you guys. You can see Ibuba is behind in time, right? But he's gonna have different Hammer Brothers. Let's see if he makes it out of this world faster than Teeks based on based on the Hammer Brothers. Well, as long as they don't mess up their strats, which it looks like they're getting the same Sun RNG. Holy crap, this race is close, man. I love when races are like this. So that movement of two, forcing Teeks to go in a different path, man. They have World 2 Hammer Brothers. Ooh, I boob get out of there. Oh, he's flip flapping and flopping all over the place. No, he took the damage. It happens. It happens. So as you guys have seen uh, in many other races is that you take damage, it does suck, you do lose those three points, but that opens up the doorway for a lot more, right? Okay, so Ibuba is going to be able to get that Hammer Brother, and he's going to be able to get his Fire Flower back on the airship, so that'd be pretty good. However, getting your Fire Flower on the airship will change how the boss pattern works, whereas it looks like Teeks might actually just skip both the Hammer Brothers in this world and get the Hammer Brothers in World 3 and then go for the Ass Point in World 4. Um, that seems exactly how it's going to be going. Alright, looking pretty hot, looking pretty hot. Is he gonna wrap around? He is! Ooh, I don't... Hmm, that's... What do you guys think about that, right? Because you, you don't need this hammer. You only need one hammer because you get a point in World 4 for the first Fortress. Um, and now, so Teeks just sacrificed a point for that. He's not gonna be able to get the fire kill. And look at this, guys. Holy jumping. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Look at the time difference. And Ibuba didn't even get P-Speed in 2-4, uh, so had he got P-Speed, he would definitely be ahead by a couple seconds right now. That is crazy. Uh, the ass point is getting a 288 in Fortress 1 in World 4. So it's right here, if you look at the bottom left uh, tracker, this point right here. And you can see it looks like it says ass, right? But it says 288. So we call it the ass point. Because it looks like it says ass. So here's something very interesting. I don't think Teeks is going to be able to do the fire kill. And I hope he doesn't go for it. Unless he knows this pattern. Which, I don't know how anyone would know this pattern. Um... And I'm not sure uh, if Ibuba is comfortable with uh, the patterns he got and grabbing Fire Flower on the airship with the change of patterns. So watch Teeks' screen. Let's see how he does. No, he's not going to be able to go for it. Oh my god, Ibuba! Ibuba got it! So he is now caught up. This is incredible. Look at that. We are tied up right now. Ibuba getting the 221 or higher on the timer for the fire kill. That is incredible. So Teeks sacrificed the fire kill point to get the hammer when he didn't need the hammer because he could have gone for the point in world four so he lost the point 
and it seems like he's not going to go for the point in world four so that's almost a full point there 0. 0.5 and a 0. 0.5 very interesting ibuba has already taken damage so there should be no reason all right ibuba first one and three one does he get the frame perfect jump let's find out no he doesn't get it does teeks get it no neither one gets it let's go ahead and uh, switch the audio to the person who's in first place we got ibuba his volume is not as high as you guys like but it's still not so bad. Looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. All right. Neither of them get that point. So the next point they can get in World 3 is Door 3. If they get Door 3, they are awarded 0.5. Neither of them get Fanfare. All right. The hardest level in the world. Ibuba, build the P-Speed. He's got it. Teeks, build the P-Speed. He also has it. Not easy, you guys. Ibuba making clear work. Teeks panicking. He gets out of there. Ibuba gets in right away, but he's already taking damage. So there's no... <gasps> Odds change. Evens don't. Odds change. He avoids the coin ship. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. On the fly work. He was about to get a coin ship, but he perfectly set it up with the timer so that he got five points or 50, I guess. Oh my god. Emotional roller coaster. He almost just got docked a point. Is he going to get the fire flower in this level? He is not going to get the Fire Flower in this level. It's not about time. In, in a vanilla speedrun, not having Fire Flower in World 3 is very bad. But in this, it's not. Right? Teek's not being able to keep P-Speed because he touched the pipe as he entered. He ran across it. He's going to keep losing a little bit of time here and there. Teeks is not able to catch back up here. Where Ibuba's getting better RNG. All right, Ibuba, going for Door 3. Let's see what he gets. Someone's got to get Door 3, man. This is incredible. All right, he goes for it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Teeks. Come on, Teeks. You need it. Ah, oh, Teeks gets it. Congratulations, Teeks, with that 0.5. Teeks is saying, you know what? I don't care about time right now. I'm going for the points. But that door three gives him the lead. This is why we don't go for door threes at GDQs. Big time losses with them. All right. So Ibuba finished in the fortress. Ibuba, you think he's got bad RNG, but he doesn't actually have bad RNG right now. Uh, because he does have the hammer for World 2. Remember, guys, if you are willing to go for the World 4 points, you don't need two hammers. And I keep seeing a lot of runners uh, getting those two hammers. It is a very nice playoff. If you sacrifice a star and use the star point to go for the point in World 4 and you get it, then you can use stars for the rest of the run, and you went faster because you can skip a hammer. It's like, all in your favor. Uh, but again, like I've said before, I've been showed up so much that I don't know what the heck's going on here. Everyone knows way better than I do. Uh, that is incredible. Teeks using his cloud, not getting any extra hammer brothers or any problems there. No runaways from either of them. Runaway bro is the worst thing to happen uh, in SMB3. Uh, taking a sippy, taking a sippy of my sodi pop. And we got Ibuba using his cloud. He is not far behind. However, he is behind by 0.5 and has taken damage. So if Teeks does not flub around or make any mistakes, Teeks does technically have an additional three points on his score, but we'll have to He's got to make it to world six. And Teeks does not uh, get the fanfare either, which is pretty good. And Ibuba is looking pretty good with his fanfare too. And Teeks getting the H jump. Woo! The eight, so 3-2 is definitely the hardest level in this world. You think the H jump level is. Um, it is the second hardest level because getting P-Speed and, and jumping around at the start is very easy. It's just one tight jump in the game with a pretty decent setup. So it's not too bad. As you can see, a lot of the runners are really good at nailing it. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so let's see. Teeks touches the airship at 1438. 1438, Teeks, touch, Teeks touches the airship. Let's see when Ibuba touches the airship. 1438 is when Teeks touched. It's when his feet landed right on. So he's 10 seconds behind. 
six, seven. So six. So what is he? Uh, he's 18 seconds behind. About 18 seconds behind. That's not bad, man. That's pretty good. That's like a couple Hammer Brothers and that's it. So that's actually pretty decent. All right, here we go. So, the next point that they can acquire is if you get exactly 210 on your timer and Wendy has all three rings out, you get 0.5. I don't think Teeks is going to go for it. He has not taken any damage yet. So, let's go ahead and see. We got two shots, four shots, six shots, eight shots, ten shots. He is good to go. He's out of there. He does not want that point. That is a conscious decision he is making. He is not interested in doing all that jumbling around. But well, let's go ahead and see if uh, iBooba is going to do it. Does he know the strats? We got two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh! Oh! Ah! He got it! Damn, dude, you love to see it. That is incredible. I have never been so hype for a point in my life. That is why I put that point in there. He definitely just tied it up with points. That is incredible. He got exactly 210 on his timer with all three Wendy rings out. Absolutely incredible. He is so happy. Right, He's got to be happy. He is very happy right now. Oh, man. That point, dude. That is a good point. That was scary, too, man. He nailed it, man. Oh, my God. I'm so happy about that. Oh, man. Teek's smashing through 4-1. Doing, doing amazing right now. All right. So we got the ass point and don't get the star bro point in world four. You do not want to get the star bro. Ibuba not going for P-Speed. He might have tried, but it might have messed up. Teek's actually almost taking damage on that piranha plant in 4-2. Believe it or not. It seems like he was pretty comfortable, but he jumped a little bit too high there. But he's pretty safe. Hi, Booba. Neither of them have to worry about the fanfares right now. We also have no coin ships either. Hi, Booba almost got a coin ship. All right, Teek's getting pretty good RNG. However, I Booba not getting good RNG. So you'd hate to earn that Wendy point and then get it taken away by getting the Star Bro in World 4. All right, here we go. Everyone's favorite level 4-3. Teek's not taking any damage, smashing right through it. Meanwhile, Ibuba destroying 4-2. He did the normal. He did the fire flower shot on the plant rather than the despawn, which is just as good. Ibuba not getting the RNG once. However, if the Hammer Brother does move right and up, he is pretty safe. Whereas Teeks is looking pretty good right here. He's going to fight this bro. So if Teeks doesn't music... If this Hammer Brother moves down for Teeks and he doesn't music box... Okay, he's pretty safe. Teeks is pretty safe from the star, bro. And I, Booba, doing 4-3 uh, pretty much exactly the same as Teeks. The best speed runway possible. Oh, Teeks taking damage! The worst strategy in the game. I would never advise anyone to ever do that crappy strategy, man. But I... Oh, and he takes another damage. Okay, he did not die. Where I, Booba, did not make the jump, which means he's not going to get that time advantage over... Uh, over Teeks, but he is going to catch up a little bit. Oh, yeah, he gets the jump there. Not taking damage. You ate to see it, guys. Now Teeks is going to have to use that. Oh, Teeks is going to go into this bottom level because he knows power up. Yeah, he's going to get his Fire Flower. Actually, a pretty smart play, and he's going to opt to get... um. Ooh! Oh, my God, and Ibuba just got lucky. Wow, dude, the RNG is incredible right now. Ibuba almost forced to get the star, bro, but they switched back, and he does get his cloud. Now he is safe. Ah, uh, not really. I would actually do 4-5. All right, he's going to go for it. Maybe he's thinking, you know what? If I get the P-Wing, I'm fine with it, right? As long as he doesn't get the star, bro. So now Teeks is going to have to do a slow fortress as well uh, to try and get that Fire Flower. Yeah, no P-Speed. Teeks is not happy about that World 4. The last point he's acquired was Door 3. So he's, his happiness has got to be wearing off a little bit. 
Um, so on Ibuba's side, if when he beats this level, if when, so when Ibuba beats the fortress, if the Hammer Brother in the bottom is facing right, he's guaranteed safety. If the Hammer Brother's facing left, it can still move right, but he's not guaranteed. So take a look at Ibuba's uh, screen, take a look at the bottom Hammer Brother. If it's facing right, he's clean to go. If it's facing left, it's a chance, okay? And it moved right anyways. There you go. He's good to go. He's safe. He made the right decision. And look at the time now. Look at the time here. This is incredible. They, he caught up super hard here. So Teeks does not have that three-point lead if he made it to World 6 anymore, which means they are dead tied now. They are absolutely tied. Teeks is winning right now because he's in first. Ah, now's the time. Now it's a good time to take a good sip of your sodi pop. So while these guys are on the airship, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the brackets here. We had Calco versus Stewie, but we all know that Calco won mainly on time, <clears throat> which is very interesting with that because Stewie and Calco did end up with the same amount of points, so the points added to Stewie's name are actually still pretty decent. <clears throat> right now we have the Ibuba versus Teeks. You know, that match is going on. You know, whenever. And then the next two matches we need scheduled is Louie versus Narfman and the Haxer versus Zikubi. Uh, and those are not scheduled yet. So we'll get those scheduled very soon, I'm sure. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead and see where these guys are at. Oh, look. They're not even halfway yet. Love this airship. So fun. Yep, just watching. Oh, I'm still here, guys. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. So, what are the points so far? So, Teeks got the tunnel, <clears throat> and Teeks got door three. No inventory stars and has not died yet. <clears throat> uh, I, Booba, he got the fire kill, and the Wendy, no inventory stars, and he has not died yet. So, they are tied up right now with points. Oh, Teeks going for the fire kill. He does not want to lose firepower again. Okay, he is safe. Oh, taking a duck under the Cheerio there. He is safe with 22-19 split. Ibuba does not know the fire kill, which is fine. As long as he doesn't go right through the hitbox, he should be good. Right on. 22-19 for Teeks. 22-30 for Ibuba. 11 second difference right now. 11 second difference. All right, so World 5, we're going to have to pay very close attention. Teeks is actually in the lead right now, so we're going to switch back over to Teeks' audio while we mute this audio. So, World 4, do not fall down the shaft of shame. Jesus clip, and no movements of 4. If you get a movement of 4, you do not get awarded a point. If you get no movements of 4, you do get 0.5. So, there could be some RNG swings here. Now, both of them have taken damage, but they haven't died. So, do they want to go for Jesus clip? That is the ultimate question. If they decide not to go for Jesus Clip, that means neither of them are going to get that big three-point bonus. There's only two three-point bonuses in the entire run, so... Teeks not getting a movement of four and approaching the Shaft of Shame. Oh, he's a little nervous there, but he didn't fall down. He's comfortable, all right? Oh, I booba getting a movement of four right off the bat. So he is guaranteed not getting that point. Oh, I thought he was going to fall down. I, want, I, need, I need someone to fall down the shaft of shame soon. Someone's got to fall down it. All right, here we go. Oh, I think Teeks. I don't know. Was that... Hold on. Is he going to use a music box? No. Okay. We're going to have to wait and see if that was a movement of four or three. I'm not too sure. That's hard to tell. It could have been a movement of three. It all depends on what the Hammer Brother did. I'll be able to find out uh, after this level. All right, because if the Hammer Brother does a movement of two, then when he's done the Twisty Castle, the Hammer Brother will still be in there anyways. So I'll be able to know. Okay, so that was a movement of two. Okay. So we got good RNG with the P-Wing here. Very lucky for him. And Ibuba destroying the Fortress, man. Ibuba is not letting Teeks have a big lead here. Okay, so if that was a movement of four, 
when Teeks finishes uh when Teeks finishes the twisty castle if those if those were movements of four the hammer brother will be either on the left side of the fortress or on the right side of the fortress so we're gonna find out right here if that was a movement of four sometimes you get movements of four and movements of three confused but I'm quite certain it was a movement of four. So the Hammer Brother will either, either be on the left side of the fortress or the right side. If the Hammer Brother is beside the Mushroom House or on the right side of level seven, then those were movements of three and he is in the clear. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. So left side or right side of fortress, it was a movement of four. Right side of four, left side of Mushroom House, movement of three. And those were movements of four. So Teeks is also not rewarded the movement of four point in this world, unfortunately. So Jesus Clip could be a very big swing right here, man. Ivuba struggling a little bit with the Twisty Castle, not being able to keep his P-Speed. Uh, however, he's still going to be able to get out of here with the, uh, the 274, which isn't too bad. And, of course, Teeks still only wants small movements. There's, time is still a very important role in this. Alright, Ibuba on a very scary level. He looks like he's doing it safely and comfortably. Right on, making it through. Dude, Ibuba, Ibuba is making heavy work here, dude. He is making sure Teeks has to work hard for this win, man. $500 first place cash prize, man. This is it, man. <clears throat> this is your time to make money playing SMB3. Right. Ooh, Ibuba going for the P-Speed, not getting it, uh, is very difficult. He doesn't want to take damage because if he goes for Jesus Clip, he might be able to uh, do something to get his Fire Flower back. But I mean, if you take damage, you might as well, right? <clears throat> Alright, so is Teeks going to do it? Is he going to go for the risk and regret it? He is not going for it. I think because he has not died, he says, I'm not going for it, screw that. So if I booba get goes for it and gets it, that'll be pretty big. That'll be pretty big. But I have a feeling that I is not going to either. He has 2.5 points. He doesn't know if he's in the leader behind. And 2.5 points in the lead is pretty safe because you get the first place points, you get the above 60 points. You know, maybe 7-1 first try. But we're gonna find out right here what's going on. Let's gotta get rid of the hammer, brother. It is the music box. M -m 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 music box. Let's go, baby. Come on now. All right, is he going for it? He is not going for it. I honestly, I think that's a pretty wise decision. I think that's a pretty good decision there. They are very tied right now. This is incredible. <clears throat> Ooh, Ibuba missing the pipe. He's not gonna be able to keep P-Speed. Yeah, unfortunately, but he's still gonna be able to get the fire kill, luckily, as long as you keep that fire flower. Neither of them have used the star yet, either. No points in World 5 for either of them. Okay, now he's on the easiest level of the game. However, you can slip up jumps. I don't know if you guys have seen me in World Record attempts. I have died on this level before. It is possible. Nice, making good work. All right. Dude, Ibuba did a really good job in this world, uh, considering the fact that Teeks did get good RNG with the uh, Star Bro in the bottom section. So now Teeks does not have to worry about either the wall jump or the 7 6 clip, which is pretty comforting. Uh, neither of them, I think, are really going to be able to go for the fire kill here, unfortunately. So. No points. Again, for anyone showing up, Teeks got the t MFP tunnel and he got door 3. He's used no stars and has not died yet. That is it. We're going into world seven. Or sorry, we're going into world six. Uh, Ibuba, on the other hand, he got the fire kill 221 in world two. And he got the Wendy point, which is incredible. Uh, used no inventory stars and has not died yet either. So these guys are tied up. They both have taken damage. So they are not going to get the world six rewards. So all they have left in world six is wall jump and the fort three clip. So hopefully... Hopefully one of them. I don't know if Ibuba has been working on his wall jump game. If not, it's not a point worth going for. Oops. Teeks. Oh, not getting it. Almost got stunned. And no one going for off-screen wand grabs. You're standing there doing nothing anyways. There's no reason to not go for the off-screen wand jump. However, if you're not comfortable or don't know what to do, then obviously it's not for you, right? But an off-screen wand grab is worth 1.5 points. You can see it. It's right here. Right here. 1.5. 
And you have four worlds to try it where you're standing around doing nothing. I booba. He got the first two shots, but he said, you know what? I'm out. He got four shots. He said, that's it. No off-screen wand grab attempts. Maybe... I, I want to see one off-screen wand grab in this tournament. We need to see one. We need to see one. It is very weird to see nobody trying the off-screen wand grab, considering it costs no time and there's no danger. And most of the time, you're probably not going to get it anyways, but hey, man, that one time you jump up the wall and grab it, who knows, right? But whatever, these runners know what they're doing, and I respect them, and they do what they gotta do, you know? It's different when you're in when you're in the game, and you're, he's, they're probably thinking about other points and other things to do. So, looking pretty good. Teex actually has 88 coins right here, which uh, shouldn't be too bad for him. He's not gonna get an 8's digit in his 10... He's not gonna get an 8 in his 10's digit in this level. It'll only be a 5 or a 0, so he should be pretty good. And Booba making pretty good work, too. They both destroyed the Hammer Brother there. Pretty good. Oh, I booba with the marathon, but they split up really quickly. That's pretty good, man. Not bad. I wouldn't complain about that. It's actually not too bad. Teek's not getting the marathon, actually getting a pretty decent hammer brother movement. I booba making. I booba did did that fortress faster with that build up. Teek's almost getting P speed. I wonder if he was like, oh man, I hope I don't get P speed. Sometimes when you get P speed, when you don't think you're gonna get it, you're definitely you're you're taking a fumble right into the pit. You're gonna fumble. <clears throat> All right. So I boob is like a little bit of a level behind. Teeks uh, pausing there to make sure this is the correct hammer, brother. He's not gonna rush it. Play it nice and calm. Uh, Booba actually had the hammer, brother switch. So this might benefit Booba if he's in the wrong position. He's gonna run a little bit, make sure he does not get P speed, and Teeks gets screwed over there. You hate to see it, guys. You really hate to see it. He's forced. He's got no choice. He's got no music boxes. He's not- Oh, dude! I booba with the speed boost there. He could have died there. He could have got stuck in the uh, spinner. And uh, it could have thrown him right down into the pit. So it happens. And I booba also getting extremely unlucky. He's going to get the star bro here. And then have to get the cloud. All right, Teeks going for the despawn. Obviously nails it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if iBooba knows these strats, but we're gonna find out. Let's see. He goes for the tail swipe right there. He does the jump, run off the block, second tail swipe, run down the hill. He's good. I don't even need to watch. No, he's good. He did it perfectly. He did it absolutely perfect. Ooh, Teeks fumbling a bit. As long as he doesn't fall, he's good. He'll just make it. Watch. He just made it. Look at that. Pretty good work there. He's gonna want to take damage. I think Teeks is gonna go for the wall jump. I have a feeling he's going to go for it. He might go for the manipulation. I don't know if he went for the manipulation there or not. He, I don't know if he knows the, the, the new manipulation. Not the old one. The old one's bad. The old one's bad. Okay, he's not going for it because that's right. You would use the star. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, fumbling on the wall there. I've been actually doing that recently myself. I booba... Making good work, man. That's good. Is he gonna- He is. Okay, so Teeks is going for the wall jump. He needs to get it first try. Alright, fingers on the trigger, bud. Come on, Teeks. You haven't earned a point since World 3. Three worlds ago. Right here, man. I'm on it. I'm ready, dude. Make us happy, man. Make us proud. We want you to do it. We want everyone to win. Come on, man. Right here. Two jumps away. Oh, he got the pixel! He's so mad right now! I don't know about mad, but obviously... You hate to see that. Ah, third try, man. He's the third try magician. Third try does not get you a point. Third try does not get you a point. All right. Uh, I booba taking damage. So, man, if he gets this wall jump, he will take the lead in points. He will take the lead in points. So let's see what happens right here. My fingers on. Oh, get rid of that. Nice try, Mitch. Trying to get those cheat points. Let's go. One jump away. Hits the... Oh, I thought he was going to hit the pixel. Get a little ahead of myself. Oh, Teeks almost gets it. That was an incredible try, Teeks. Absolutely incredible try. Ooh, Ibuba gets it. Not third try. A couple tries later. I think it was maybe like seventh or eighth. But hey, man, getting that wall jump is still really good. So let's see if Ibuba goes for the uh, Fort 3 cliff getting the mushroom. I mean, it's safe. You might as well try it every time. 
you, you do a very small jump right at the window, and you'll get it. So if he goes for the mushroom, I think he'll try it. Yeah, let's go, baby. Come on, man. We want to see some... We want to see some action here. Nice, going for it. All right, Booba. Oh, I thought it was it, man. Every time, dude. Every time. Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry about that. Just taking a couple bites while I have a chance here. Got my little uh, potatoes and corn. Looking pretty good. Alright, so watch Teeks' screen. If he moves one pixel to the right while he's waiting for the wand, he's going to set himself up for a uh, sub-pixel manipulation for the clip. Let's see what he does here. He did not... Oh, he tried to do the move one right pixel, then move one left, but I don't think I actually saw him move right one pixel. His feet moved... But I am not sure. And then he tried to move the left, so... I do not have high hopes right now for Teeks' clip. However, I said the same thing about Stewie! And he got a first try, so I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. There is no points for the swag clip on Booba's side, so unfortunately... No swag, no points. Alright, so if I Booba does the same thing, I don't know if he's familiar with the subpixel manipulations. Let's see what he does. He's trying. He did not move, but he was trying, and Teeks did not get it, so two tries. Three try. Three try clip! That's pretty good, man, because I was going to say, Ibuba's going to catch up with that. If I was Ibuba, I would also go for the standing clip. He did not move one pixel to the right, so he might have a high subpixel value, but you never know, man. All right, unfortunately, Teeks does not get 7-1 first try. However, if Ibuba gets it, that will be incredible. P-Wing strat. Very good strat right here for 7-2. You definitely do not want to go for fast 7-2 in a tournament setting. And you get to keep the P-Speed. Come on, Ibuba. Let's go. First try. Oh, he got stuck in the ceiling. You hate to see it, dude. Is he going to get a third try? No. Three. Four. Oh, fourth try. So he really does not lose much time. But what he does lose is that hot, steamy passion for 7-1 clip. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Neither of them get it. This is very exciting. We still have 7-6, seven, 7-7, seven, seven, and 7-9. Seven, very exciting. But right now, we are just going to pass through. Is Ibuba... No, Ibuba is not... What is the strat here? I... Oh, no. There is a Fire Flower that he can grab. Okay, flubbing around a little bit. Oh! Oh! What? Because I was like, he's going to take damage, go to small, and if he gets the spawn, he's going to die. But, whoa! Never seen that one before. Nice job on iBooba's side. I don't... I don't... Never seen that. That is a great backup right there without having to grab the Fire Flower, right? There's no point getting the Fire Flower because you use a P-Wing on the Fortress. So if he would have nailed that first try, that would have been pretty smooth, man. Never seen that kind of backup before. Right on, I love that. Alright, Teeks is gonna take damage. Is he gonna move right one pixel? He does. Does he move a little bit more? He might have moved too much, but we're gonna find out. Nice, Ibuba. Just killing them for the sake of killing them, huh? Alright, Teeks, come on, man. My finger's right there. Is he gonna get it? He gets it! First try, dude! 7 1 clip, or 7 6 clip, first try. Fantastic. He gets it. He's happy about that point, man. He is really happy. He probably took a deep breath. He's like, oh, man. Okay, okay. Might be doing pretty good in this tournament. Is he going to go for 7-7? And if he does, is it going to cost him a lot of time? 
Ibuba is not far behind. He is gonna go for the 7-7 clip. Let's see if he gets a finger on the trigger, man. Come on, dude. Oh, we could have got a first try right there. All right, on third try, not getting it. Booba's catching up. Oh, man. So I wonder if Teeks is saying to himself, I need this point. I cannot afford to go into the pipe. Because he knows Booba. Okay, Booba taking the damage. Booba's going to set up. Booba's set up for the subpixel manipulation. Dude, he's catching up. He's just got to finish the next level. And he's on pace, man. The time difference has been eliminated. All right, Ibuba, 7-6. First try. Is he going to get it? Oh, he jumped a little too late. If he had the right subpixel, he might have got it. But he jumped a little too late and did not get it. He got it. Oh, my God. He's catching up right now. Oh, Teeks. Teeks, you have a lot of time. Don't panic. Oh, buddy. Oh, my gosh. He needs this point. They are officially tied now. He is caught up with this level. It comes down to 7-7. Seven, seven. Holy crap. Ibuba is in the same level now. If Ibuba gets it right now, this will be crazy. No, Ibuba went for the duck jump. Okay. This looks silly right now. If Ibuba gets it before him. Oh my god, who look, they're sync now. Who's getting it? What's going on, guys? Someone's gotta get it here. Holy crap, this is why 7-7 seven, seven is a point, man. If Ibuba chose not to go for it and won the race with time, this point wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Holy crap. Teeks might have to opt out and get out of here. This point just gets harder and harder the more you- Oh, he got it! He got it! Teeks got the clip! So now he's got a haul ass to keep that lead. I don't know. I don't know. Ibuba's getting some weird foot movement. I'm wondering if he's letting go of forward too much. Didn't get it. Oh, baby. Oh, I thought Ibuba had it there. Teeks not getting the clip. This is not Teeks' clipping game. However, he did get 7 6, so that's pretty good. All right, T's getting first try clip. Or, or the first clip. Oh, no, Booba! You had it! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! This is why you press down. Okay, Teeks. Third and fourth. First try. <gasps> One. No! He was so close. Come on, Teeks. You had it, dude. You had it. Oh, my gosh. These guys are, are really hurting me. This is why you press duck after you jump for 7-7. Seven, seven, because Ibuba had it. Does Ibuba get awarded the point? I'm going to go ahead and say no because he has not finished the level with the clip. He has not finished the level with the clip. And it looks like Teeks is getting the heck out of here. Ibuba, unfortunately, is going to have to finish the level. Oh, boy. That... Right there. Right? Right there. Had it, guys. He had it. He had it. That is two times in this tournament we have seen the players uh, get the clip and jump out of it. All right. Ibuba can tie it up here if he gets third first try and fourth first try. He can tie it up right here. These guys are crazy for going for all... Ooh, he gets first try there. Ooh, what? Oh, that is why! That is why you don't go for the first two clips. Wasted. Did it the other way around. Unfortunately, there's no points for getting first and second try clip. Unfortunately. Damn. Ibuba is doing a great job. He's just getting the, you know, the bad end of the stick here. Fantastic. Nobody's died yet, so this is really good. Is he going to skip this fortress? Music box. 
Cloud, he is out of there. All right, they're on the airship at the same time. This is still whoever gets hands versus who doesn't get hands versus Rangless, Elevator Clip, and then obviously Power Up. So big point gains here. Teeks is a professional at getting no hands, so I'm just assuming he's getting no hands. I might as well just click it for him because he's he's the he's the no hands master, gets it all the time. Just kidding. You don't get those points until you pass those hands. Nice try. Hold on, I'm gonna take a quick bite. What's going on guys? I am back. So what is the time difference right now between iBooba and Teeks? It, it's definitely over a minute, uh, but I don't I do not know the exact time. All right, we can get a good time estimate <clears throat> um, if we check and see when uh, Teeks enters the uh, the Navy, I guess. Would be a good time. Unless you guys know the timer. 50 or 4657. I don't know when Teeks uh, splits, so. Very, very interesting. This is exciting. Everyone's cheering on their runners, which is really good. I love to see it. Oh, Teak's getting a little bit of lag there. That could inadvertently change the hands because this level is taking him longer than normal. Which could change the frames. Okay, so it looks like iBooba is behind by a minute and probably 20 seconds, I'd say. So let's see the time whenever uh, Teeks gets the chest here. So let's see. Oh, he gets Wrangless! No way! 47.51, Teeks gets Wrangless. That is going to help him secure that win. Wow! Holy crap. So his time was a 47.51 is when he grabbed that chest. Holy crap, he got the Wrangless, dude. I want to see every... I want to see someone get all points in World 8. I want to see someone get all points. Dude, Rangless, baby. Let's go. Well, you gotta watch out for those propellers, Ibuba. They'll cut you up, man. They'll cut you up. Let's see if Ibuba goes for any D-Lag strats. Uh, D-Lag strats are actually, you wouldn't think, but they are on the advanced side. They are not easy to do. Um, they are annoying to pay attention to. Also, in order to get the, the D-Lag strats in this level, see, look at all that lag. Oh my goodness. He definitely lost at least half a second there from lag. Maybe not, but that's a lot of lag. So yes, Booba is over a minute. A minute and 10 seconds. He's at a minute and 20 seconds. Ooh, both end of the pipe. That's cool. Ah, he's not, he doesn't get Wrangless, though. Nice try. So he's about a minute and 27 seconds or so. 28 seconds. 26. I don't know. Yeah, not too far behind. All right, Teeks. Let me guess. No hands, right, buddy Jim? I got my finger on the trigger. How many hands are you getting? Oh, he got the first hand. You hate to see it. Fucking 
The hand lord is not making work today. Instant 99.9. .9. So if Teeks gets all three hands and Ibuba gets no hands, that will be incredible right now. And it is Mario 3. Anything's possible. Does he get hand number two or number three? He doesn't. He only gets hand number one. Looking good, man. That makes him very happy. Oh, man. That was close. It's going to make this a lot harder for Ibuba to catch up. There's only a couple points left. And they have not taken any damage yet here. So as long as they keep that power up. Also, for future seasons... Your points to your name are very important. Maybe you get knocked out of this match, this bracket, this tournament, but when you come back season two, your points are still going to carry over to your name. They're not going to carry over towards any race. It always starts at zero, but your total points together. Looking pretty good. Once we start getting average points per game, when more games are played, we're going to start seeing who is the top competitors. All right. All right, here we go. If Ibuba gets no hands and enters the Air Force, that means he's less than a minute behind. Which is really, really good. All right, Ibuba, what's gonna happen here? No hands? Ah, the first hand. You hate to see it, dude. You got no choice. All right, as long as Teeks does not die, he should be pretty good. No missed A inputs. No mistakes. No flip-flaps. No missed jumps. He's good, man. He's got it. Right on. Doing the turn back for safety right there. Ibuba going through. Getting hand number two. There's no points for these hands, Ibuba. I'm not sure what you're doing there. <laughs> it is RNG. It is out of his controls. So there's not much he can do. Is he going to take the Sand of Shame? Whoa. Lots of people are opting for Sand of Shame. However, if Stewie took Sand of Shame... He would have won his whole bracket round. Oh, I booba with all three hands. Ooh, Teek's doing the left rights, left rights. He's balancing on the chain chomp dog or something. Oh, dang. Unfortunately, I booba is gonna get all three hands, which is gonna make his lead an additional 45 seconds bigger. Or his uh, being behind. All right, now. Teeks does not want to die or take damage here. If he takes damage, Ibuba can still gain some good points here on him. He does not want to take damage. He want to keep that original power up from World 7. Is he opting for P-Speed? He is, but he does not get it, unfortunately. All right, here it is. Not much going on here. I think it's pretty hard for him to take damage. Yeah, looking... Ooh, a little slow there. I don't know if he's going to one-cycle it. He does get it, though. Okay. Very close, dude. That was like three frames. Ibuba has not taken damage yet on the Air Force. And, you know, there's really not much he can do within his control, but he's not doing bad. As long as he doesn't take damage, he's pretty good. And if you safely get rid of the Rocky Wrenches, you're, you know, you're in good hands. Ooh. Getting the quick pipe there. Not easy. You have to, uh, you have, to have some pretty good timing to get in there. All right. Last tank brigade for Teeks. The only points Teeks can get now... His first try elevator clip and the World 7 power-up kill. Alright, Ibuba's in the hardest part, whereas Teeks has already passed through the hardest part. Now it's Ibuba's turn. Wish him luck, man. Don't die and don't take damage. That's very important. Take it slow. Get the points, right? Future seasons. Yeah, take it slow, man. Future seasons. Nice. Looking good. No extra turn backs. Beautiful. Now, now, I want to see him take the Sand of Shame. There's no shame in the Sand of Shames. That's right. I want to see him take it. Whoa! Stewie did the same thing and bit the dust. The sun eating his fireball. Okay! Okay! Now he's got to hope for the sun to be dude, to be a bro. All right, the sun is going to be a bro. Right on. You'll love to see it. All right, Teeks getting through the, the most interesting level of the game. All right, keep your eyes on Teeks' screen. Is he going to get the elevator clip? My finger is right there, Teeks. Get that solid five points right here. Ah, oh, he doesn't get it. That is unfortunate. So if Teeks takes damage... 
Uh, he can lose out on a lot of points right here. Oh, flubbing around on the stairs. You better watch out. Okay, he made it. Hey, man, no dicking around on the stairs there, buddy. That's very important. All right, is he going to go for the P-Speed or is he going to say no? Too scary. No, he's going for it. Almost get hit by the laser. Duck jump. Does he miss an input? No. Looking good. All right. Bowser kill. As long as he doesn't take damage, he's pretty good. Oh, that was close. That was close to the troll fireball. Right on Teeks. He gets the Wrangless and the World 7 original power-up and first place and sub-60. So we're going to see his points collect up here just as he enters the door with a 55-29. So we got first place above 60 and World 7 power-up. Congratulations to Teeks with that 8.5. That is really, really going to help his total points. 8.5 is very strong, man. That is strong. Without any of the three-point leads, that's pretty good, man, if you ask me. So we just got to get Ibuba through the worst auto-scroll of the game. So now Ibuba can get the elevator skip and the World 7 power-up with 2nd place and 60. So he can still get a good chunk of points here. He can definitely still get a good chunk of points here. However, if he takes damage and does not get the elevator clip, it's going to be a sad time. It's definitely going to be a sad time. Big, did a big, 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 or don't accidentally run into the boom, boom. I've done that before. Very good run by everyone. All right, buddy, my finger's right there, man. Get that clip. Come on, man. Bust it up to a three, then get a four, then get a five-point game. Come on, man. Get it. Get it. No, oh, so close, dude. They tried, man. Not much they can do about it if they don't get it. All right, so the only thing left for him is the World 7 power-ups. As long as he doesn't take damage. As long as he doesn't take damage, he's looking pretty good. Alright, P-Speed, love to see it. Duck jumps, don't die. Nice. Making work. Alright, it's just Bowser. Here it is, the last one. That's all we got. Doing that preemptive shot for fun. Come on, man. Watch the duck. Get the Bowser. Easy. Very well done on Ibuba's side. He is doing a fantastic job for being, uh, you know, somewhat of the underdog, which clearly shows that as long as you work on these points, you make the right decisions. All right, 57-40. Ibuba with second place, sub-60, and original power-up. 5.5, dude. If he had gotten first try clip, no hands, and Wrangless, he would have had a seven-point game right there, which would have been really good. Really good. If he had gotten the seven and these, he would have had an eight-point, eight-eight game. So, 5.5, very good. Okay. I just want to confirm one more time with them. Make sure they are ready. Alright, we get the dot ready. Okay. On three from go. Okay. Alright, here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go! Woo! And they are ready to go. They have to wait until it hits them in the Discord, and then they're about to start. Right on. They both start at the exact same time. All right, let's go. I can't tell whose audio we have. Whose audio do we have? Look at this. This looks incredible right now. Weep. I think we have iBooba's audio. Yes. Okay, there we go. We are good to go. What up, guys? This is round two, game two of the point system tournament. Teeks won game one with an 8.5, and iBooba has a 5.5 from game two. So iBooba's going to have to make some very big work to catch up here, but also he's going to have to hope that Teeks makes a couple mistakes, right? iBooba doesn't have to make the risky gambles if Teeks gets a very low point game. If Teeks only gets one point and iBooba gets another 5.5, well, guess who's going to win, right? So, uh, it, this can go in so many different ways. Let's go ahead and get started here. Neither of them have used an inventory star, and neither of them have died yet. 
And they are absolutely synced, except for their cards. We got a star mushroom with a uh, flower star. Uh, this game is very confused. All right, going for the speed strats, and they nail the cloud or they nail the leaf there, which is really good. Uh, it's a big time loss if you don't nail that, but it's not too bad this early in the run. All right, so it looks like Teeks is gonna go first at the tunnel. We're gonna go ahead and pause that. Oh no, we got Teeks's audio right now. Okay, everyone, watch Teeks scream. Does he get the tunnel, dude? I'm right there, Teeks, on the on the point. Here I am. We want you to get it. If you don't get it, we're gonna be sad. Oh, he doesn't get it. Does Ibuba get it? Ibuba doesn't even keep B-Speed. No! However, Teeks definitely took damage there, which means he's going to be behind in time. So neither of them get the tunnel, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Teeks does have better RNG with the Hammer Brother here. And also, Ibuba actually has the same RNG, so it's not too bad. There you go. You see the catch-up. See how much taking damage in... Uh, the tunnel costs you. That's why you see a lot of runners reset when that happens. <gasps> oh my god, he, <laughs> he almost died. That was so close, dude. Holy crap. That was so close. I'd go to the mushroom house. Go to the mushroom house, dude. Oh no, he's so lucky. Ibuba is so lucky that he's going to get the fire flower. If he did not get the fire flower... Teeks didn't get it. <laughs> Teeks, what are you doing? So you don't have to wait for the power-up. You can grab it whenever you want, and it's still a time save. Nothing interrupts. Okay, so when you grab a chest after a Hammer Brother battle, nothing interrupts that timer from exiting you out of the Hammer Brother battle. So you know how when you grab a power-up, the game stops, everything freezes while you get the power-up? That doesn't interact with the timer. So no matter when you grab that power-up, you're still going to save time. So there's no need to risk it. So that, that was... Uh, very interesting to see. Also, if I Booba didn't get good RNG with that mushroom, he would not have gotten the power up in World 1, that fire flower right there, to take into World 2 and try and get to World 6. So he... Oh, man, they both dodged some big bullets right here. That, that could have went on to a very interesting... Ibuba, not as fast as a kill, but still looking pretty good, man. They're looking pretty good. Uh, no, they still grab the Fire Flower in World 1. They still have the first world power-up. The first flower, right? The, the very first flower, they both got it. Looking good. If they enter World 2 without a Fire Flower, then they don't get it, unfortunately. I can't help you guys with that. Besides, if you enter World 2 without a, a Fire Flower, then that means you're not going to get a Fire Flower all the way until... I think the airship. I think there's one in World 2-5, uh, but it's very high above. I don't even think it is. I think it's a leap. I don't even think a Fire Flower is in World 2. And it's a freaking desert world, so it's very weird. They were really pushing the tail in this game. Alright, 2-2. Two, two. Teeks is going first. We need a 292 in the pipe, man. I'm right here, dude. He also got some good RNG. All right, let's go. Look at the timer. What do we got? 298. 297. 296. 295. Four. Three. Full big jump. Keep it. Ah, he's so close. I boob it with the four. Three. Two. Oh, he doesn't keep it either. Oh my gosh, so close. That is a very challenging point, man. That is a very challenging point. He was so close, Teeks. But I think these guys are very afraid of falling in the, the mode of tears, which you shouldn't be uh, because time, as you've seen, is not a huge issue. These guys are not pulling in 51s, right? No one's gotten a 51 yet, I don't think, right? I think somebody got a 53, I think... I, did Zikubi get a 52? I don't think so. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what ha we'll see what happens. So, the next point that they can get is a fire kill with a 221 on the timer or higher. Yes, I think Zikubi was a low 53. No one's gotten the 50 the sub 52 yet. 
Ooh, Teeks with the bad RNG again. So he's got some questionable move. move oh my god. And um, I Booba with the amazing RNG, both World 2s, man. That is, uh, you love to see that. World 2 is very annoying and warpless when it comes to RNG. Very annoying, dude. Because the Hammer Brother runs to the right, and that doesn't mean you should reset. Um, but he runs to the right, and then he switches with the Hammer, and then they make you take a different path, and then they go behind the Pyramid, and it's just like, they're all over the place, man. They make it so hard. Let's go ahead and see what Teeks is about right now. Teeks, good. He, dude, he nailed it. That's exactly what he could ask for. And I, Booba, Hammer Brothers are in the same spot, more or less. Uh, the bottom, the bottom position in between the other two spots, so. Uh, they're very synced right now in runs. They have not taken damage yet. Uh, they do not have any extra points on top of each other. So they are looking pretty good here. It looks like they're both gonna have to do level 5, so hopefully... Uh, Ibuba's not going to lose as much time as he did last time because Ibuba missed his P-Speed in 2-4, but it's not looking like... So this is the exact situation I was talking about. He goes down to level 5 to go for the Hammer Brother, but now the Hammer Brother's close to going past the Pyramid. If the Hammer Brother goes past the Pyramid, well, you can pretty much kiss your uh, Fire Kill goodbye. So hopefully, hopefully he knows his patterns, right? That's what, that's what it's about. All right, Teek's getting good movements here. All movements of one. Does he? All right, Boomerang Bro moves forward. That's unfortunate, but it happens. Oh, I Booba got lucky. He moved back to the left, and he moved backwards. So he's gonna save a little bit of time on Teek's right here. Look at that! Holy jump, and they're very close to each other. This is a this is a really good race right now in terms of just time. Right on. Yes, if you guys want to know how all the points work, how all the rules work, how the tournament is set up. Uh, the challenge, all that stuff, the brackets, type exclamation SMB3. You'll be good to go. Nice, they're both taking the good strategies. Pyramid, screwing over Ibuba. Not uncommon. Not uncommon at all, happens to all of us. Alright, so I have a feeling that they are both gonna get the 221 fire kill, right? Like, they're both gonna get it, which is gonna be interesting. That's gonna be really interesting because it's gonna keep things tied up. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's go here. What do you guys think? Who do you think's gonna get the fire kill? Do you guys think they're both gonna get it, or do you think uh, anyone's gonna miss it here? I love how the fire kill point is very close to the world three point, and then door three is very close, and then you got the Wendy point. I I don't know, guys. I would always grab the music box in world two so that I don't ever have to worry about runaway. Runaway is such a big problem here. Such a big problem. Alright, Teeks is first up. Fingers on the trigger, bud. Two shots. Missed one. Oh no, he got flipped back. He does not get it. Oh my gosh, Ibuba. Fingers on the trigger, Ibuba. He gets the two shots. Gets the four shots. Ibuba gets it. Holy crap, he takes the lead by 0.5. Oh man. Teeks got robbed of the fire kill twice now. Ibuba needs all the points he can get if he wants to take home this 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 game. If he takes home this if he takes home the points. <sighs> Teeks is a little tilted. I I can just Okay, Teeks is screen right now. Does he get the first frame jump? Let's go. Oh, he doesn't get it. Ibuba, does Ibuba get it? No, they neither of them get it. Dang, dude. We we need someone to get it, dude. We need someone to get it. All right, next is door three. The next two things that you have to worry about in this world, well, there's three things. So you got door three, runaway bro, and three two. Those are the three things. Those are the three things that you have to worry about all together. All 
All right, does Teeks get the P-Speed? He keeps the P-Speed. It builds up. He's getting it. He's got it. Very nice. I booba getting the P- Ah, oh, he gets the bad frame. That sucks. Teeks taking it nice and slow. He oh, no! Teeks takes the damage, dude. So he loses that reward. His fireball hit the side of the pipe, and he does not get it. So I booba has a very, oh, a very uh, comfortable lead right now if he can keep it to world six. All right, Teeks not getting Runaway Bro yet. Ooh, iBooba getting Runaway Bro. So, hopefully iBooba's been practicing. What do we what do we do here, guys? We skip both the Hammer Brothers. They're not using a star, so he doesn't need the star, bro, and he has the hammer from World 2. So, all he has to do is skip them, and he doesn't have to play the auto-scroller. He doesn't have to die. He doesn't have to waste time. He can just skip them and do the Fortress in World 4. You get a point for it anyways if you do it. If you're not practiced with it, Take it slow and don't worry about the point. As long as you don't take damage or die. All right, Teeks. Come on, door three, do it. No, oh, he doesn't get it. Dang. All right, Ibuba, door three. Are you going to get it? Are you going to make that lead even bigger right now with that door three? Going for the door three. Oh, he doesn't get it either, dude. It is so hard. Dang, dude. That's a, that's a tough, man. That's a tough one. Whoop. Whoop. Just remember, if any of you in chat think that you can do this and center all your strategies around the points and beat these guys, all you have to do is get a sub one hour warpless in SMV3 and you are qualified for season two. That is it. If you have one hour, you can you can enter these tournaments. Season two is gonna have some different points. Ooh, see Ibuba, man. He's been practicing, but I don't think he knows. Ooh, this is scary, man. This is scary. I wouldn't have gone for that hammer, brother. No! This is like make or break, win or lose strategies right here. So Ibub is gonna actually get very close to taking the lead here. And they both have runaway, so if they both have to do it, this is hilarious. So let's see what happens here. If one of the hammer brothers shows up, that person has a massive lead in time. Let's find out. Nope. And no! Oh, Teeks is gonna go for the extra cloud, whereas Ibuba is gonna go for the level. But Teeks is forced to fight the Hammer Brother, where Ibuba is not. Hmm. Obviously, uh, Ibuba is taking the slower strategy. Uh, but Teeks has definitely practiced and prepared for this outcome. So Teeks is going to use his cloud here to go back. Not fight the hammer, brother. Oh, what? Uh... Hmm. I've not seen this... Uh, before. He could have just clouded r right back across, right? And then just done that extra level. But in this in this case, he's done two extra levels to cloud one level. Right? Because Ibuba still has his cloud as well. So Teeks just actually lost like a 40 second lead right here. What? What just happened? What did Ibuba just do? I never- what? What? He used this cloud and entered the level! I have not seen that! This is the craziest- I got out of my seat and ran around my room. I just did a lap. What the heck was that? Alright, alright! Okay. I think Ibuba is realizing what what has happened just now. Nerves, sure. Yeah, it could be anything. I'm just reacting to it. It's all good, man. People do what they do in races. You can't explain it. It's just that what's done is done. And, you know, from watching this, I know Teeks is going to cloud 4-4. Four, four, but Teeks did 7... Teeks did 3-7 and 3-4 to skip 
Well, I guess three fort. Um, but I've recently learned that three fort is definitely longer than four four. Three fort two is definitely longer than four four. Definitely longer. Interesting. Very interesting. These guys both have to be... They both think they're losing. This is... This is amazing. This is amazing. Right on. So... I don't know if Ibuba is going to go for the Wendy point again. He got it last race, which was really good. However, he has not taken damage yet. So he is on the right right path, whereas Teeks has taken damage. So I have a feeling Teeks is not feeling super hot about this run. This run is going crazy. Let's see. Maybe Ibuba has a strat for Wendy and it works all the time for him. But let's find out. So Ibuba is going to go first. Let's count out the shots. We got two, four, six, eight, nine... He almost gets it! So close, dude! Oh my gosh! It put him behind, but he still has his original power-up, so he, he does have the advantage right now. Almost gets it a second time, dude. That was so close. Dude, his points would have been one full point based on Wendy. That would have been pretty good, man. That would make up for him uh, getting the 7-7 clip and then jumping out of the pipe last race. All right, Teek's gonna go for his fast P-Speed strategy. He nails it. That one is the difficult pa uh, fast strategy for Ibuba. Not gonna be able to go for it. I'm not sure if Ibuba's conflicted or if this is just simply what's most comfortable for him. Um, you have Fire Flower, you can definitely shoot him. He's gonna take it slow. He's a little nervous because he has the same power up. He does not want to miss it. I am very interested to see if Teeks is gonna go for the ass point. We are in world four, so you don't want to get the star, bro. And you want to go for the ass point. There's two things there. The ass point is not very popular, which I don't blame people. It's very difficult. Uh, that's definitely why it's there. <clears throat> but World 4 is very... Ooh, the, the clip. He's going to do the jump pass, not take damage. All right. Ah, Ibuba's is looking good. But I... Ooh, Teeks is in a bad position with Hammer Brothers right now. Because if they swap, switch, and flip around, it could inadvertently cause him... To not be able to even use a music box and be forced to get the star. Whereas, look at that. Booba is guaranteed safety with the music box and the cloud. Well, maybe not with the music box. Well, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see what happens there. Uh, Teek's splicing his run right now. Uh, so he gets that win later. We're going to have to have a talk. Ooh, getting... Ah, uh, you hate to see it. Is he going to slide down the hill? He's not. But he's going to have to take it slow here. Remember, the time is not important at all for Ibuba. If he nails this three point, he could be a minute behind Teeks and he could still win the race. Teeks going for the ass point. Holy crap, I think he's gonna get it! No way, 288 on the timer! Or higher. Dude, he nailed it. Ass point right there. Teeks ties it up in points right now. You love to see that. <clears throat> And he's gonna use a cloud and he's gonna screen scroll. This is incredible for Teeks. Oh wait, no, he doesn't want to screen scroll. That is the cloud. Yes, okay. Whew. As soon as I heard a marathon, I was like, wait a minute, there's no. Yeah, Ibuba playing it safe, man. He I I really think Ibuba's doing the smart thing right here. Ooh, Teeks. Teeks wanted to go for boxless. But it looks like. Ooh, watch out, Ibuba. Don't take damage. Looks, okay, Teeks got the P-Wing. That's pretty good. So I guess he's going to opt out to not use it. Let's see what he does here. Oh, Ibuba, watch out. Don't get close to the top. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy right now. 
Nice. So I assume Teeks is going to use Music Box if the Hammer Brother moves to the right and goes back to the same position he's on. Where I, Booba, can just Music Box right now and get the heck out of there. All right, Teeks is safe. I booba. Ooh, I booba almost took damage from that turtle. Looking pretty safe though. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Avoid the P speed. And Teeks is doing great in the fortress right now, keeping his P speed. He lost it a little bit there. I booba paying it safe as well. He really wants those three points because we know Teeks is not going to go for Jesus Clip because he has not died yet. I think a lot of the runner. Ooh, what's going to happen here? Music box. And that is going to alter Teeks' pattern here. So hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't alter his pattern too much. Nice, get the bounce off the dry bones. So Ibuba is not only not far behind, but Ibuba still has that um, three point advantage if he does not lose this fire flower. Holy jumping guys, this is crazy right now. Yeah, I'm just seeing in some of the comments, KLM1187 had said sometimes it's worse to play it safe uh, if you're not comfortable with it in terms of trying to be safe, whereas you are much more comfortable with your speed strats, and I have to agree with him on that one. Um, I have definitely made a mistake second-guessing my strategies in the middle of runs and have made big mistakes uh, doing that, whereas if I would have just done what I know and stayed comfortable with what I naturally do, then um, everything would have been fine. And as you can see, Ibuba with his strategies, he is playing it safe, but he looks like a noob. And I don't mean to hurt anyone's feelings, but he's going very slow and playing like it was his first time he's ever played because he really doesn't want to take damage. So if he if he did something like that in the middle of a hard strategy, that might actually cause him to take damage. So hopefully it's not. So far, what he's been doing has been the right moves because he, he still has that uh, Fire Flower. Um... But he's just got one more world to get through without taking damage. And world 5 is a pretty decent world to not take damage in. But we'll see. We'll see how it's going. Yes, I'm very sorry, guys, for the slow auto-scroller. Very sorry for the slow auto-scroller. And I mean, uh, I mean, to put it in perspective, everyone who goes really slow and does very safe strategies over top their normal fast strats, definitely, they, we all look like noobs when we go slow. Have you guys seen my AGDQ 2020 100% race? What happened in the first level with me? Looked like I've never played the game before. It was the, my worst display I've ever done. All right, Teeks is going to get a different pattern here. Let's see if he goes right through the boss. Oh, no, he's doing good. Oh, the collision there was so close. All right, so Teeks tied it up. He got the ass point, whereas Ibuba got the fire kill in World 2. So let's go ahead and scroll down. They have not died or used any inventory stars. In World 5, we have Do Not Fall Down the Shaft of Despair, Jesus Clip, and No Movements of Force. So we're going to have to pay very close attention uh, to these runners' movements in World World 4. If we're ever confused, the Sky Bro will definitely tell us um, what kind of movements he would be doing. All right. I don't think Teeks... Ooh, watch out for that. Oh, no! Gosh, dang it, man. You hate to see it. That's like... He made a mistake, fixed it, and got punished for fixing his mistake. Oh, my gosh, dude. Yep, has not done that jump in a long time as not fire, so he didn't know exactly what to do, but he's going to know that for future. Yes, yes, definitely. So he gets the no movement... So Ibuba is not far behind, so this is a very risky level, 5-1, for taking damage with Fire Flower. Take it very slow. All right. Teeks not falling down the shaft of shame, which is really good. Ooh. Ooh. Scary. He's going to go for the slide. Nails it. Nice. 5-2 is very easy level. Minus the shaft of shame, of course. All right. Ibuba getting a movement at 2. That started out to be a movement of four, but it is not. So we got an RNG point here. Ibuba not falling down the shaft of shame. And also Teeks still not having any movements of four yet. So he's looking pretty good. Ooh, we're going to see. Is Ibuba going to get a fanfare right here? He's got two flowers. Is he going to get a third flower? Let's find out. My finger's on the trigger. Is he going to get it? Minus 0.5. He does not get it. Very nice. 
Very nice job. I would have done a turn back. I would have been too scared. Unless I was like in the middle of one of my rage runs where like I'm playing well but bad RNG but also getting good RNG and playing bad. So I go for all the stupid stuff and I get them. But we're good. So he does not get a movement of four there and he is now in the fortress. Teeks. Also not getting a movement of four yet. Going for the Hammer Brothers here. Because he had to burn his music box, unfortunately, in World 4 with bad RNG. And Booba is just catching up. Booba is like, I am sick and tired of being behind right now. So I'm keeping this Fire Flower. Oh, Teeks gets the movement of four, so he's not going to be rewarded those points. We're actually going to go over to iBooba's audio right now to make it easier. iBooba not getting it. Ibuba's not in the lead, however, we want to listen for the movements of four to make it easier to watch. So it looks like they're both gonna have to get the Hammer Brothers. Oh no. Oh! He lucked out, man. That was pretty good on uh, Ibuba's side. Alright, Teek's making good work of the Twisty Castle. Looking good. Ooh, that... He doesn't have a movement of four yet. So it's looking pretty good for Ibuba. So we can actually switch back to Teeks' audio now because iBoob is going to go through the Twisty Castle. We'll be able to watch the Hammer Brothers, so we'll know for sure if he gets a movement of four by watching. So we're pretty good. I think those were movements of three that iBoob was getting. iBoob doing the, the Twisty Castle much better than the last time. He better execute this duck input. He nails it. Gets his P-Speed back. Let's see if he gets it in this last room. The hardest room to keep it in. And he does not. I don't, I'm not surprised. I maybe do it once in every couple hundred runs. All right, 78 coins versus 31 coins. No coin ships. It's looking good. All right, so he is not, dude. If the Hammer Brother moves down, he is guaranteed safety. So this is incredible. Teek's not getting the best of luck, but he's making really good work with what he's got. He's got 33 coins, but he knows he's safe here. Right there. There you go. No fanfare on either side. If Ibuba's Hammer Brother moves down right here... Commentator's curse. Sorry, Booba. Not today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't take damage. Very scary. So he's not going to get the P-Speed here. Let's see if he knows the backup P-Speed. Oh, he's going to do this P-Speed. Okay, he knows that P-Speed. Right on. Very good. All right, full big jump. Teeks does not get the P-Speed. If Teeks feels like he's behind, he might actually go for Jesus Clip here. He had a very flubby uh, World 3, and World 5 is not working out for him. So... Um, let's, I am really curious to see if Teeks actually goes for Jesus Clip here. This would be, a, if he got it, this would almost secure his win. So we're going to find out because Ibuba is not messing up his PCP strategies. Except for 5-5, five, five, of course. That was, uh, we don't talk about 5-5 five, five, though. Alright. I don't think he's going to go for it. I think he might be, he might get a little too nervous. Nope, he's not going for it. Hey man, that's a smart move because we know Booba's not going to go for it. So Ibuba actually is in a situation where he, unfortunate with the movements, but he is guaranteed an easy fire kill, so. Uh, let's see what he's going to do with that. As long as he doesn't take damage, dude. Remember, he's got to enter the fortress in World 3 to get the point. He's got to enter the fortress in World 3 to get the point. Alright, Teeks is doing good. Ibuba with another movement of four. You love to see it. That's always fair. I love it when they get stuck. I'm so happy with Nintendo when they put three levels right beside each other with one space in between that and the castle. It's really good. Don't miss the duck jump. Okay, he's safe. This is very interesting. Booba is there. And we saw yesterday in Stewie's race that Stewie was there too. But Stewie went right through a cannonball. And if you were to ask me, I would stay say, stay the the hell away from those cannonballs. Don't even go near them. I don't I don't jump on any cannonballs ever at all at any point in any race. Like that right there? I would never do that. <laughs> I'll stand on the cannon shooters and then I'll hit them, but I'll never jump on them directly while they're moving in the air. They are so janky. I hate them so much. So if Ibuba loses his Fire Flower here, if Ibuba loses his Fire Flower on the Hammer Brother, if I was Ibuba, I would stomp kill if I wasn't comfortable with the Fire Kill. But based on his position and from my experience, I know he's 
got a really easy, good fire kill pattern. Um, getting the fire kill is not going to save him enough time where it really makes much of a difference. So we'll see what he we'll see what he plans to do here. Dude, man, I, I think I'm just nervous because it's not what I do. So it seems like it's risky, but they're probably very comfortable. All right, Teeks, he's gonna go for it. Boom. Yeah, he's gonna go for the stomp kill. I thought Teeks was like a pro at the warpless fire kill, but maybe the nerves, right? He doesn't want to mess up. It'd be heartbreaking if Teeks has forgotten that he's taken damage already and he thinks that he's on the original power-up. Obviously, I don't think he does. But you never know, man. You never know what these runners are thinking. There could be so many things. From races and runs, in my experience, your brain is sometimes a loose cannon. All right, goes for the jump. Gets it. Oh my gosh, don't preemptively jump. He made it. Okay, so... Oh, boy. This is very interesting. All right. All right, Teeks' his turn. He's got 43 coins. He's not too worried about a coin ship. Not gonna happen. Use his hammer. Boom. All right. All right, they did the switch. That sucks. That sucks. However, he moved to the Mushroom House, which means it didn't remove the space between the two Hammer Brothers. So that's actually really, really good for him. All right, Ibuba, just don't take damage here. All right, here we go. My finger's on the trigger. He's about to enter the fortress. I can't wait. Dude! Yeah, he nailed it! Wow, man. Congratulations to Ibuba for nailing that. That is not easy stuff, man. Keep, he kept his power up from World 1 all the way to World 6. That is definitely worth the three-point reward. Uh, Teeks, um, yeah. All right. Okay. Anytime now. Thank you. And look, there's no space between them. Guaranteed he's going to get both the bros here. Wow, what an awful World 6 for Teeks. Is he going to get P-Speed here? Oh, he almost got P-Speed. I wonder if he thought. Dude, I would have got scared there. Look at how much T uh, Ibuba has caught up because of that marathon. That marathon just cost him probably close to 20 seconds. And it happens. This is not the speedrun edition, unfortunately. This is the big boy pants edition. So he's going to go for the top, bro. It should be pretty good. So he's not guaranteed safety, Teeks, for uh, bad RNG. He's not guaranteed safety. We're going to find out after this movement. We'll see what happens here. Okay, so... Teeks has a very, very high chance of getting lucky here, where um, Ibuba, we don't know yet, because he has not screen. All right, go for the first hit. Go for the s oh! That is a big time difference. And he took damage again. That is a huge time difference. That is uh, very bad uh, on Booba's screen. So he's going to do a pipe transition. He's got to go back through the pipe. Look at, how, look at how long a pipe transition takes. Let's see. One, two, three... Gets control, grabs it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, this whole thing lost him over 20 seconds. Oh, Teeks got a coin ship! No way, you hate to see it! Minus 0.5 for Teeks. That helps Booba so much, dude. Oh my gosh. Did this just happen? Did I just see that? The first coin ship in the tournament. Oh, oh no! Wow. This is... And he doesn't want to go for the death, right? So he has to do it. Oh, and Ibuba is guaranteed good luck here. Unless it's the wrong bro, which it's not. He is guaranteed good luck here. So Ibuba is... Wow. And I was just harping on Ibuba so hard uh, for missing that and losing all that time. But now he's got a really big lead here. This is incredible. I love this tournament. So this is so much fun, man. I love this tournament so much. All right, Teeks is gonna have to haul ass right now. Oh my gosh, he almost died right there. If he did not fly up, the different, like, trying to fly back up from floating down. 
All right, he made it though. All right, so. Is iBooba gonna go for the wall jump again? Or is he gonna use a P-Wing? He did not have very good luck last time with the wall jump. So, and we know Teeks is very good at the wall jumps. He's going for the wall jump. Let's see what happens here. Very exciting. Very exciting. All right, iBooba's gonna go first, guys. Keep your eyes on iBooba's screen. See if he gets wall jump first try. My finger is right on the trigger, right here. Oh, Teeks, watch out! All right, iBooba. Let's see if he gets a first try. He flubs a bit. Oh, he got a first try! Holy crap! iBooba is earning this win right now! He is not letting up! This is incredible! All right, Teeks, come on, man. You need this. Let's go, bud. I, you know the wall jumps, dude. Oh, he doesn't get the right sub pixel, so he doesn't get it. All right, keep your eyes on iBooba's screen. He's gonna go for all points in World 6, which we've never seen before. Oh, he goes for the duck jump. All right, he misses it. But Teeks does not get the wall jump. He finally gets it, though. I think he got it uh, maybe 6th or 7th try. Come on, Teeks. World 7, right? Right? Still no death, so. Let's see if Teeks is going to go for the mushroom and try and go for the clip. That'll be a very good idea for him. He, I can tell he knows he's behind. So he's going to go for points here. All right, let's... Oh, watch out. Yeah, take it slow. Start building it. Build it again. There you go. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, a little too big of a jump. A little too big of a jump. He's trying though, man. We got this. This is incredible. This is incredible. Is the difference made right now? 8.5, uh, 10 points, 5.5, 10.5. So right now, Ibuba is just 100% in the lead by 0.5. Holy jumping. Come on, Teeks. You haven't got a point since World 4. You got this, bud. Shake it off, man. Shake it off. Shake it off, bud. I know you can do it. You both can do it. I'm always- I always root for the person who's behind. Because I like, like, that crazy comeback victory, which iBooba just did. So, now I'm off iBooba, now I'm on Teeks. <laughs> this is incredible right now. So 7-1, man, if it takes iBooba like a minute for 7-1, Teeks will definitely catch up. Oh, he's going to wait it out. Might not optimally get into the pipe. Ooh, there you go. Teeks getting the swaggies. All right. So keep your eyes on iBooba. If he moves one pixel to the right while waiting for the wand, he's going to go for sub-pixel manip. He moved one pixel to the left. He moved, but that looked like a big move. Uh, I don't know if Haxer's in chat right now, but I think he would agree with me that that is definitely subpixel 12 or 11, I think. That looked like a big move to the right, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't- I wait until the races are done before I read chat, so... If he's in here, he can definitely tell you guys his thoughts. I think that is definitely subpixel, but we're gonna find out. I have t I thought Stewie messed up his subpixel manip, but he proved me wrong. Alright, Teeks. One- one movement to the right. Ah, uh, he does not get to move it to the left. The toe, the toe scatter. All right, iBooba. Finger on the trigger. Oh, he moves to the left but goes for the duck clip. Gets a second try, though. So he's not going to lose any time. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, Teeks. You need this, buddy. You need this. He did not get it. You don't know that. But, man, if you get this, it's completely tied. And you will take the win with the average time. So, let's go. Finger on the trigger, Teeks. Come on, man. If it's going to happen to you once. Oh, no. He gets a second try, though. So, he's not going to lose time. This actually stays very tight now. iBooba doing this his weird, weird 7-2. He totally, he had to have made that up on his own. I've never seen that. And it's wor it works for him. So Teeks is going to save some time here because he's going to use his P-Wing, which is a very good idea, I think. He doesn't have the optimal P-Speed. You can run and then float off of this pipe right here. 
yeah, that was a little, that's a little slow. He can definitely do it a, a second faster or so, but hey man, it works and it's definitely faster than what Ibuba did. So he definitely caught up, has to take the damage there. So he loses a bit of time. Ibuba doing 7-3 way better than he did last time. I think this is what he had in mind. However, it's not how it happened last time. Neither of them have taken a death or used the star yet. So, fortunately, Teek's got a uh, magical treasure ship of sadness. He's not happy about that. He's going to use that star. All right. So, we're going to get Ibuba ready to set up for subpixel manip number two. All, all Teek needs is to get the same amount of points as Ibuba, but 0.5 more. And keep this distance between them, and he will take the win based on average time if they tie up with points. Which will be incredible. The thought of somebody ever winning anything with getting a coin ship is just beyond my understanding. Alright. So it looks like Ibuba did some movement. Fingers on the trigger, Ibuba. If you're not going to get 7-1 first try, you got to get 7-6 first try, right? Teeks, uh, Bump Master. Alright, Ibuba, let's go, buddy. Oh, he doesn't get it! This is our chance for Teeks. Teeks knows this clip. He knows this clip really well. If Ibuba accidentally enters the level, he has lost his lead guaranteed for sure. This is the same thing that happened last time, where Teeks was ahead and Ibuba was catching up. Oh, he gets the clip! Make sure that he keeps the lead. All right, Teeks, come on, man. You know this clip, bud. It's gonna tie it up between you two. 10 point, or 10.5 points even. Ah, oh, he doesn't get it. These were his opportunities. Not getting them, man. Very unfortunate. Ooh, he's got to get the clip soon, though, because we know Ibuba is going to go for the 7-7 clip. All right, Ibuba. Fingers on the trigger. All right, Teeks gets the clip. He's pretty good. Ibuba want that 7. Last time Ibuba got 7-7, seven, seven, he jumped out of it, and he does not get the points. All right. This is going to be a 7-7 seven, seven war right now. 7-7 seven, seven war. 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Big 7-7 seven, seven war right now. Teeks gets it first try. Boom. He's pretty good. He does not get a first try. Loses P-Speed. Builds it back, though. Clipping on the pipe. Do not accidentally enter the level. 7-7 seven, seven war right now. Ibuba almost gets in the pipe. It could be anyone at this point, man. Teeks fluffing around his P-Speed. He's losing his chances for the clip. He did not want to waste the time. You want to get all optimal chances. Oh! Teeks gets it and takes the lead! Holy crap! Wrong tracker! There you go! And he gets it and takes the lead, not only in time, but he secures his first place in points. He now is 0.5 ahead. And Ibuba getting 7-7 seven, seven again, dude. Again. See, if they were watching each other's screen, Ibuba would have known to not go for 7-7 seven, seven and try and go for time. Oh, he's in there! He got it! <laughs> what? Okay, this got intense. This is crazy. He got it. He's not too far behind. All right, Teeks. Third and fourth. First try. Oh my gosh. No, dude. He almost got it. Wow. This is incredible. Okay. It's Ibuba's turn. The time lead that Teeks has means nothing if Ibuba gets third and fourth try here. If Ibuba gets third and fourth try here, that lead means nothing. Here he goes. Oh, he does not get it. So he's going to opt out. He's going to opt out. All right. Teeks is out of there. This is nuts. <laughs> yeah, if you noticed Ibuba, when he got in the pipe, he just stood still and he's like, okay, did I make it? Yes, I made it. Let's go. All right, so we're going to get Cloud Music Box. This is the closest race with whole with race one and two combined with time in race two. This is crazy, man. I can't handle this. And they both think they're losing, right? They both have no idea they had the exact same. They had the exact same World 3. Ooh, watch out for that flame, man. All it takes is one person to take damage, and that is a huge swing. Dude, I'm like, I'm twitching, man. I'm shaking, dude. I can't handle this. This is too much, man. I 
I can't, I wish that they could see their closeness so then they can start like being like, oh my god, this is way too much. We are in Auto Scroller City. Yeah, so it looks like iBooba is... Is he in the lead by one point right now? No, they are tied, aren't they? Yeah, 11 to 12, that's what I thought. Yep, it is 11 to 12. I was just making sure. I can't- I don't know how to do math, so, um, yeah. My IQ is like three, and, uh, yeah. I don't understand anything. All right, Teeks. Don't take damage on the boss. Nice, comfortable stomps. You are winning. You're winning, Teeks. As long as everything goes according to plan, Teeks is winning. So, I wonder if the stress is getting to him. I wonder if he's like, oh my god, I have to see where my opponent is. Dude, I've been like that in the randomizer tournaments where I'm like, if I could just get one look, like, my heart could rest. But you can't, that's cheating, so... You're not allowed to look, guys. You are not allowed to look. Alright! So I, Booba, not taking damage. Nailing it. Oh, man. So, Rangless is gonna play a huge role. Mitch, Rangless is stupid. Why would you have it in? It's RNG. This is why we have it in here. Wrangless is an actually, it's, it's a really big role in the speedruns, especially in the route divergence in 100% of Hammer Suit, or even Warpless, sorry, for Hammer Suit versus Fire, right? I, I can't, I can't sit here and say that all my points are good and good ideas, because some of them are a little questionable, but some of them are really good, and I think what makes them good is when they come into play. Not on average, right? Like, Rangless, whatever. If you're already in the lead, someone gets Rangless. It pushes them in the lead even more versus someone who didn't get lucky, you know? But in times like these... Ooh, baby, man. This is good. I love this. Oh, I boobas. So, based on D-Lag strats, we're gonna actually see um, a pretty big difference in time that um, uh, Teeks is gonna gain on Booba just in lag frames. Oh yeah, this race is close enough for the hands to play a huge role. Oh god. Dude. We're back, we're back. Okay, sorry about that. When I, as soon as I move one of my windows, Windows 10's like, oh, so that means close all your windows? Okay. So yeah, blame Windows 10. Like, all I'm doing is moving my windows just a little bit so I have some room. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not touching it anymore. I'm not touching any windows. That's it. This is the last 10 minutes of the race. I'm not touching anything. All right. Teeks is first up to Wrangless. Teeks has already gotten Wrangless. Finger on the trigger, Teeks. This is it. Can you get it again? Oh my gosh. He does not get it. That was so close. He had the right first movement. Where the boomerang... Ooh, big leg there. I really feel like he almost lost like half a second from that leg. But he doesn't care. He's got 6.5 points right now. He's got huge points. Huge points. Alright. It's Ibuba's turn at Wrangless. If he gets it, this will be crazy. Here he goes. No, he does not get it. If the Boomerang Bro moves backwards instantly, the Fireballs do not have enough time to make it there. Oh, man. This is even more stressful. Like, if he if he would have just got Wrangless, we would have been like, okay, well, this... Uh, I don't know, right? But now... Okay. So it's up to the hands, guys. Now's a good time to spam... Who you think is gonna get what hands, dude? Dude, I would I would have forfeit this race if the stress was this high and just went right back to the bikini babes. Can't deny the bikini babes their their looks, you know? If the stress would be too big. Who do you think is gonna get what hands? This is crazy, man. World 8 is the best world in Mario 3. I think World 8 is the best last world in Mario 3 than in any other Mario game. Although, Bowser in the Dark World is pretty good. 
All right, here we go. Teeks is going to be the first at the hands. Let's see what he gets, man. If he gets no hands, this will be incredible. Not only will it help him keep that giant lead and probably secure his win, but he will also get 0.5 if he gets no hands. He is the no hands master. Getting two no hands in one day. Never before seen. Does he get it here? No! Not even close. Getting that patented 99.9%. Does Ibuba get incredible luck right here? I am on the trigger right now. Oh, man. This is crazy. Does Teeks get another hand? He gets... Oh, my gosh! This could be it. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man! It's too much. If Teeks gets a third hand and Booba gets no hands... Holy crap, dude. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Teeks going. He doesn't get pulled in. This is crazy, man. Dude. Dude, I hate the hands. Look at what's happening right now. The hands. Oh. Okay, so no lead difference at all yet. If someone dies, if someone uses a star by accident, if someone takes damage. Right? There's so much that can happen right now in the last five minutes. Oh, crap. Watch out, Teeks. Oh, Booba not getting pulled in. The time difference is the same still. <sighs> My little heart can't handle this. Teeks is working so hard for this point system tournament. And a time like this with the isolation and everyone being at home is a great time to win an extra... Handful of cash here with $500 first place cash prize for this tournament. They're out for it. All right, Teeks. Teeks is up for the uh, the dreaded 8-1, 8-2, and 8-4. Here we go. Not using a star. As long as he doesn't take damage. He's going for it. He's going to go for the shot. He goes for the shot. Gets P-Speed. He flip flop with lefts and rights. He is safe. 8-1 is the hardest. 8-2 is the most random. A whole bunch of crap happens in 8-2, but I think he's going to go for the Sand of Shame. There's no shame in that. Ooh, I bub his turn for 8-1. He's got to be nervous. He knows he's got heavy points right now. Sand of Shame. Sand of Shame. Here we go. I booba. Oh my gosh, watch out. He's playing it very slow. Very slow. Okay, he's going for the safe strat. He's gonna go for the P speed here. He's gonna get it. Oh, he got the flop. He did. Oh my gosh, he almost lost that fire. He took damage. No! That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. That could be it. 8 1. I told you guys. 8 1 is the one. Okay, Teek's going very slow. He's definitely going to take the Sand of Shame, right? Or he's going to do the damage boost. We'll find out. If Teeks dies or something, which I, I highly doubt he's going to die in these levels. I don't see that happening. Uh, what Ibuba is doing is still faster than the Sand of Shame. The No Shame. Teeks, do not let go of down too early. Okay, he's safe. I'm always worried that I'm going to do that. Yo, that was fire kills. You can see these opponents are really... Whew. This is crazy. Yeah, use the leaf. That's right. Yeah, take the damage. He does not have that reward. Oh, man. I'm out of breath. So, hopefully Teeks does not take his eye off the screen. Because if he takes damage here... I don't know... I don't I don't know exactly what kind of difference that's going to make on the race. Depending on elevator clip and uh, potential deaths. Uh, but who knows. Because uh, Ibuba taking that damage only ties them up. Which would give Teeks the advantage here with the lead. So, we'll see. Oh, 
All right. All right, Teak's not taking damage, dude. If he takes damage on Bowser, he is not going to be happy. And Bowser de definitely does not like being fire killed. Trust me. He does not like it. Oh, Booba taking extra caution, which would... I feel like this would be a little bit scary. All right. Fingers on the trigger, Teeks. Can you get the clip? Secure your win. Get the clip. Secure your win. No, oh, he does not get it. I don't want to say it's not secure. And I don't want to say it is secure, but that, def that 0.5 definitely would have helped him. So if he takes damage here, and iBooba gets the clip, he could lose by 0.5. Not getting the elevator clip. Flubbing around. Do not miss these jumps. Okay, he looks pretty safe. <sighs> Going for the statue. P-Speed. Doesn't take damage. He's pretty safe. Don't miss the duck. Ooh, that was so close. Imagine clipping through the donut. Here it is. Bowser kill is so scary. Here we go. Moving forward. Inchin. Bowser not doing troll shot. Hey! Teeks gets the kill! Alright, iBooba. Come on, man. Does he get the clip? If iBooba gets this clip, this would be very interesting. Oh! He needed that. He needed that so bad. All right, Teeks finishes uh, first place with a sub-60. Kept the original power-up. So Teeks has the 8.5 plus his 6.5. Ending off with a total of 15 points for Teeks. All right, let's go, iBooba. My boob is going to make it. He's got to go for his fire kill. Got to go for his fire kill. Let's go. Oh, I missed the fireball. Can't believe it. He's going to go for the duck. Watch out, dude. You are low on fire hits. You are low. Oh my gosh, he made it. That was so scary. For some reason, Bowser decided he wasn't going to shoot any fireballs. So that's what happens. That's what happens. All right. I booba with second place. Not keeping the original power up. Sub 60. Ooh, so there it is, dude. Very close. Teeks with the 6.5. Booba with the 8.5. Teeks with the 15. And then I Booba has the 8.5 plus 5.5. 14. Holy shit, guys. Oh my god. They did so well. I booba almost <laughs> took that home, man. Man, oh man. That is crazy, that one full point. Well, they both got 7-7 seven, seven hacksers, so I mean... I don't know if 7-7 seven, seven fully did, because if Booba got no hands... Oh, I guess in the first race. But I Booba still would have lost if he got the 7-1 the in the first race, because they'd be tied in points right now. So... I've never seen anyone win a race with a coin ship, so... I am I am very impressed. Well, I'm very happy you guys enjoyed this tournament, and congratulations to Teeks for being advanced to what? It, I, what is it? The semifinals?